When you see Lasher snatch 223 kilos, or Kate Nye snatching 112 kilos after just four and a half years in the sport to become a world champion, Lu Zhaozhen squat jerking 207 age 36, or Kuo Sing Chen clean and jerking 142 kilos weighing just 58. It's common to think one of two things. Either that these athletes were just always amazing, destined for greatness, or that they were just like you when they started out, they just trained harder and for longer. And both of these are probably the wrong way to think about things. So today let's go back and look at the first ever weightlifting videos from those four athletes. Okay, so here we have Lu Zhaozhen, a video filmed by the retired American weightlifter Jeff Whitmer, sent to Nat from Hook Grip. 19 year old Lou back in 2004 as a 69 kilo weightlifter. So here we are, 147.5 on his second attempt. And it's it's a classic Lou style lift. So let's just go off the floor. Hips very low as always. Pushes his knees back early because he's so strong in the quads. Finishes beautifully and tall. Maybe comes up a little higher on his on his toes back then than he ever used to. These days he kind of just stays pretty much flat footed. And then he has a patented left foot only move, which he still does. Right foot basically stays planted, left foot moves way more than his right. And he's got quite a lot of room to ride that down as well. Okay, 152.5 kilos on his third attempt. Wow. An incredible attempt at a save that was kind of reminiscent of his 2015 177 kilo snatch save that he did. So the junior world record snatch in this weight class is 158 kilos. Tigran Martirosian, who later became a 77 kilo senior competitor with Lu Zhaozhen. Uh, and then the, the clean and jerk record was was 190 from Lao Hui, obviously one of Lu's later teammates as well, one of the, the greatest weightlifters ever. In fact, the highest ranked Chinese weightlifter by Sinclair ever. Second attempt at 175 kilos. Beautiful clean. And a phenomenal squat jerk. You just can't believe that at that age he was still that good. I mean, he got into the sport relatively late, remember? He was a, a son of a farmer, basically, and he used to do a lot of running. He was a long-distance runner. And he got picked up by someone who recognised that he was also kind of strong. I think he was maybe 15 years old. So this is, what, f four years later and he's already doing this. So this is his third attempt, 180 kilos. And you don't see that often. In fact, you almost never see that. Even the heaviest clean we have of Lou is a 211 from Paris 2011 when he went for that world record to beat Oleg Peropachanov's, obviously before Nijat Rahimov snuck in with a 214. Even that, he makes it look incredibly easy. So this is a this is a rare sight. Let's just see that one more time. So there's Lou a few years into weightlifting. Obviously, he basically was clearly born to lift weights. I mean, to get to that level so quickly is incredible. What I'd really love to see is footage of him in his first year. How good was his feel for the bar? Was his timing as impeccable or en route to becoming as impeccable as it, as it currently is? But these, I suppose, are questions that will probably never be answered. Let's move on now to Kate Nye and look at the first ever video that she posted of herself lifting any weights. Okay, so this is a PR in the deadlift, 273 kilos. This is from 2015. So what's amazing about this is this is four years and three months before she became a world champion. She eventually got a snatch not too far from this weight and, and clean and jerked way beyond this in just four years. And it's actually nice to see Kate at a much earlier starting position than Lu Zhaozhen in this. I mean, her hips are way higher than they eventually become. Her back isn't completely flat when she pulls. I think she's wearing Innovates, which is an absolute crime against all weightlifting. But let's see what she does do well. So she keeps the bar very close. She meets the bar kind of nicely as well. I mean, there's a little bit of a wobble, but that's not too bad. Clean and jerk, hips incredibly high. She had, I suppose, stronger hips Recover. at this point than she did legs. And then this is an eight kilo clean and jerk PR for her, which kind of shows again that the rate of progress was just as it was with, with Lu Zhaozhen was ridiculously fast. Wearing the innovates again, a crime against humanity. But so much about this lift is already so impressive. The way that she's able to stand up without losing that torso angle. She stayed in her quads. Jerk not so nice, but gymnasts always have good lockouts. Let's see that again. 
Pulls it very straight. A little bit of bar crash. She's always been an athlete who's been able to catch something in the bottom of a clean, not get the bounce, and then still get up with it. And then there we go. No way of predicting that she was become a world champion. I mean, you've seen lifters as good as this, if not better, early on. So testament to how hard, I suppose, Kate and I would have had to have worked. But again, not many people start weightlifting and then within a couple of weeks, uh, they're already at 76 kilos in the clean and jerk. Okay, and then we jump uh, a year and a half, basically. And at this point, she's already snatching around 88 kilos for a single. This is this is 80 kilos for 90% for five reps. Five singles, I assume. And what's interesting is she, she had this really good hip mobility. You can see the way that she catches the bar with a much wider stance than she does now, rather than relying on her dorsiflexion and pushing the knees forward. She's also started pulling with much lower hips, so she's developed her quads already. She's much stronger in the legs. And then before that, here we have 100 kilos in the clean and jerk. And this is, I mean, this is November 2016. So this is, what, a year and three months after she started weightlifting. She had the audacity to say in the description that she'd been chasing a 100 kilo clean and jerk for what seems like an eternity. I can guarantee you, Kate, uh, most people uh, have been chasing 100 kilos for a lot longer than 18 months after they first touched a barbell. All right, let's now take a look at the strongest weightlifter of all time, the man with the heaviest snatch, the heaviest total ever, Lasha Talakadze. Now, since 2017, we've basically seen him snatch 220 kilos or more every single year. Let's take a look at 2010 Lasha Talakadze, 16-year-old Lasha Talakadze. Okay, so here he is, 175 kilos, and I mean, he's enormous, isn't he, for a 16-year-old? Just the size of his, the, the size of his quads very impressive so we have a classic uh, slightly narrower start position i don't know what body weight he was here he looks like he must be over 105 though not quite the 170 that we know of him from now but he doesn't look like a 105 he looks like he could be a 115 type lifter i tell you what this goes to show if anything is that his coach george yasinidzi who i presume has been working with him for a long time has just been focusing on perfect technique from the youngest of age and then Lash's strength is probably in large part just genetics. Like to be this strong, to move this kind of weight so easily at that age, so fluidly. I mean, that's based on who your parents are, let's be honest. I mean, you can train hard, but at that point, you can only have trained for a few years. Such a straight, smooth pull, stands it up beautifully. And for a big guy, look at this overhead mobility to lock that out. Feet turned in ever so slightly, back knee down, front foot in advance of that front knee. Beautiful lockout with a narrow grip. Really impressive. Here we are on his second attempt now, 180 kilos. Amazing to think that, you know, this is a power snatch weight for him these days. A little tougher actually racking that weight. The stand was very easy. The jerk was, again, wonderful. But actually, just, he's got such long arms, the actual turnaround looked kind of slow and labored and almost as though he didn't actually have that much room to spare. Let's take a look at that again. Okay, so off the floor, lovely long pull, balance is nice. Look at that early arm bend, wow. <laughs> I've never seen that from Lasher, love to see it. And then here's the third attempt, so 16-year-old Lasher Telekadze. I'm really interested to see how the, the turnover on this one looks. Oh, it looks like he put way more effort into it, that was much easier. Ooh. Right elbow there, maybe. Let's have a look at that. Feet land nicely. I mean, it's uh, it's a bit of a wobbly elbow. In before Bedad Salimi comments on this video. And then let's stick with Lasher very quickly, because this is interesting. This is three years later, 2013. And we have a 170 kilo pow, power, full. I'm not quite sure. Let's take a look. Look at the size of his face. <laughs> He's now pow snatching. Not quite a power, not quite a full. 170 kilos, he's probably snatching 190 kilos more than he clean and jerked three years before. So once again, the common trait that we've seen with Lou and that we've seen with Kate and I is just rate of development is astronomical. I mean, it's still, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, just the speed of it, the snappiness of it for a super is, is amazing. That's great position. The way that he's able to to maintain that back angle, just pushing through with the legs. Knees go out a lot, maybe more than they do these days, actually. I think maybe he's developed the posterior a little bit more now. 
very strong power position meets the bar fixates it needs almost no room to to stop the movement of the bar just because it's so fast under it the bar has barely had any time to gain any kind of downward velocity at this point all right let's take a quick look now at Kuo Sing Chun the 2019 world champion the world record holder in the 59 kilo weight class someone who's known for having some of the the greatest the smoothest technique in the world and it doesn't hurt the fact that she's also the strongest 59 I mean she back squats 200 kilos but let's take a look at her 11 years ago at the Youth Olympic Games 2010. That's ridiculous. That's really nice. I mean, look at that start position. You just know Kelly Starrett would be so happy to see those forward feet and the outward knees. Nice straight pull, barely any movement in the feet, so her balance is, is looking pretty good at this point. A little bit wonky there. That's something that we don't see now. I've seen enough slow-mo videos of Quo to know that this isn't a situation that she finds herself in anymore but a little bit wonky there and then she looks maybe ever so slightly forward in her foot but not really oh wow we don't even get to see the clean okay that's great let's let's see the stand up and the jerk 97 kilos wonderful look who it is here boyanka kostova i assume everyone knows about boyanka probably one of the most doped weightlifters of all time one of the most ridiculous squatters of all time, a 210 front squat at 58 she was, I think, at this point. Wow, that's wonky. So, was she Azerbaijan here before she... I can't remember which order it went. She changed countries quite a few times. So, Kuo took silver in the end. So, uh, a pretty good start for, for Kuo Sung Chun. Did we learn anything here? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I think it's kind of interesting to see that... Not only do these elite weightlifters often start just at a much higher point than most of us who train and are in love with the sport, their rate of progression is obviously incredibly fast. Their ability to adapt to a stimulus is much greater than ours is. Their ability to, to tolerate an incredible amount of workload is much higher. And also I think one of the hidden things that leads to success that a lot of these elite athletes talk about or that they've spoken about on the podcast with me is that the ability to not get injured for one and a half decades is such a huge predictor of total success. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos. We've got footage from Simon Kalecki, my favorite technician in the world. We have Dmitry Klokov, we have Deng Wei, we have Ilya Ilyin and many more young weightlifters. Comment down below. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you all next time.